One principle you should remember in this math is that whatever is going on in this higher world, represented by my 9, 3, and 6, this higher trinity here, is mirrored in the lower world, but it's kind of in a, when we say mirrored again, we mean it's kind of in a, a, a reverse direction or a mirror flow. So to me, when I think of this, when the higher world is dividing itself, this world, this physical world, is multiplying. And those two functions are very interrelated. So let's look at division. Now first I want to start with the numbers we have in the physical world of creation, which are only six numbers. One, two, four, eight, seven, and five. Those are the only six numbers which physically exist in the world of creation. All right? And they form the underlying geometry of creation which is essentially hexagonal. One of the most prevalent common forms seen in nature, the hexagon, whether it's the polarization of light, which can be modeled in this mathematics, whether it is the polarization seen in crystals or snowflakes. Every snowflake, even though they're all said to be unique, is basically a hexagon. Okay? So these six numbers form this hexagonal underpinning geometry of the physical world. Well, we saw what happens when we multiply them before mirror images. When you divide them, they, can, they actually do the same pattern, but there's a simple rule, and I have to show you another principle before I can explain that rule to you. And so we looked at doubling. The next principle I'd like to show before we do division is something called reciprocals. Very well-known concept in math hugely significant concept when it comes to physics, a hugely significant function of math. Reciprocals. So how do we model reciprocals here? Okay. I want you to notice, first of all, my 9 here splitting into these, this 3 and 6. It's highly significant to this symbol. First of all, if I take my 1 to my 2, notice it's at the angle of the 9 to the 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. If I, 9 plus 3 is 3, by the way. 8 plus 4, which is at the same parallel angle, is 12, which is 3. 7 plus 5 is 12, which is 3. 6 plus 6, where we end here, is 12, which is 3. All of those at the angle of this, my 3, which is my field. This field okay, is separating out. We call it a flux field. You could think of it uh, the closest thing known to it is a magnetic field. It is spreading everything out. So I have three going this way in parallel lines. I have six going the other way. Eight plus seven is uh, 15, which is six. Nine plus six is 15, which is six. One plus five is six. Two plus four is six. Three plus three is six. Everything moving at this angle is six. So when I follow this symbol, I'm really going 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. I'm showing that oscillation underlying this process of doubling. All right? So if I take my 1 now, I know if I go 1 times 1 is 1. All right? Let me move from here. One direction going each way. I get to 5 and 2. Very significant when we actually learn about the original equation of this, which was composed of 1, 2, 5, and 1. But we won't go into that now. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 plus 0 comes back to 1. Let's go another one. 4, 7. 7 times 4 is 28, which equals back to 10, which equals 1. Okay. If I go up again, I get to 8 times 8, which is 64, which comes back to 1. Now if I switch, I'm just going to go back to the same number, 7 and 4, 2 and 5, and then they're going to come back to 1. What I'm showing here is called reciprocals. All right? They're always separated in a certain way, and they always come back to the number from which they started. So if 1 times 1 equals 1, Every direction I go, 2 times 5 is 1, 7 times 4 is 1, 8 times 8 is 1. 
They're forming reciprocals that always come back to one. It's very important in modeling sound because this is the way we're going to model reciprocal motion or something which we'll call shearing. All right, but just so we don't lose you, let's look at that in terms of another number. Let's take two. Two times two is four. Four times one is four. Okay, I'll come here and here. Eight times five is 40. Four plus zero is four. Seven times seven is 49. Nine plus four is four. Okay, so no matter which way I come here, they always reduce back to my original product, which was four. How about four? Four times four, and I'll explain to you why am I saying one times one, two times two, four times four. It's because there's actually an energy coming out here, which is activating these numbers, giving them functions. In this system, whereas in regular conventional math, the functions are held still in the center of your equation, and the numbers move around. In this math, the numbers are still, we could call them stationary vector interstices. The numbers are still, but the functions move, which is more like reality when we see functions are actually abilities, capabilities, and they are modeling motion. All right? But back to what I was saying, 4 times 4 is 16. 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay. I'm going to go here. 2 times 8 is 16. Again, back to 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 5 times 5 is 25, which is 7. Now you can do that for any number. I'll just do them quickly. 8 times 8, 64 comes back to 1. 7 and 4 is 28, back to 1. 2 and 5 is 10 is 1. 1 and 1 is 1. 7 times 7 is 49, which is 4. 8 times 5 is 40, is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 5 is 25, which is 7. 7 times 1 is 7. Uh, 8 times 2 is 16, which is 7. 4 times 4 is 16, which is 7. These are called reciprocals. Okay? We're just going to start with 1 as my control. All right? So if I'm talking about a system where 1 is my control, then my reciprocals are going to be 2 and 5, 7 and 4, 8 and 8. Now the reason why I explained all that, I said we were going to talk about division. We talked about multiplication. We understood that. What does it create? It creates doubling, creates halving, it creates mirror imaging. We get polarity, which we haven't fully explained. Uh, we get all these properties from multiplication. Well, how about division? Dividing by any number, here's a principle for you to write down. Dividing by any number is exactly the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. All right? So in other words, if I am multiplying, let's say, uh, by, we could say by 1. If I'm multiplying by 1, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just like I showed here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How about if I'm dividing by 1? Well, if we start, uh, we'll see the same kind of thing. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Okay. Um, let, me, let me just read these out because I have it all written down. It'll make it go faster. Um, okay, 1... I'm sorry, actually, I should be saying dividing by 1. Yes, yeah, so 1 divided by 1 is, is 1. 2 divided by 1 is, is 2. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 5 divided by 1 is 5. You get the point. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 7 divided by 1 is 7. 8 divided by 1 is 8. 9 divided by 1 is 9. All right? So, whereas my multi, because 1 and 1, 1 is its own reciprocal here. Um, in this system where 1 is my control, I said 1 times 1 is 1, then you have 2 times 5 is 1, 7 times 4 is 1, 8 times 8 is 1. So 1, just like 8, is its own reciprocal. So if I'm multiplying by 1, when I divide by 1, I'm going to get the same thing. When I multiply by 1, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When I divide by 1, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 